So right now we are back with more Call of Duty Black Ops 3's campaign. About to start the second mission. I don't know how long these missions are. The first one was pretty long, but I'll do my best to put them uh, one mission per video, if not like two videos for one mission. We'll kind of have to see how it goes. But thank you guys so much for all your support. Keep it up if you want these videos quick. And with that being said, let's do this. Zurich. Hey, still with us? Welcome back. Taylor. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative, at its core specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. It's always some next-level catastrophe shit going on in these games, I swear. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated what? an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be. What is happening to me? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. Eleven thirty a.m. December eleventh, twenty fifty-four. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip, giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome: train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. I'm gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. You didn't hear shit? If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Pretty blown away how they did this. I thought it was really neat. Like at first, I, I you know, thought I'd have the futuristic approach. I didn't know when that was gonna come into play because the first mission didn't really like strive on that. This definitely feels more like it though. I think it's like really badass. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for all your support on that first video. There's never just one route. High, low, left, right. Different paths yield different advantages. If I beat this campaign uh, pretty quickly, which I plan on doing, I'll probably do some of the zombie videos. It's got a solo little campaign as well, so 
thought that'd be pretty neat. What if you can hop up this way? Yeah, you can. Nice. Your DNI can provide combat critical info to help you better read the battlefield. Switch it to tactical mode, like opening your eyes for the first time, right? That's so neat how that shows them behind the wall. Pretty blown away by how well this game like is laid out. Story mode so far has been great. Oh boy. So if you can't keep traffic of enemies, it actually shows you where everyone is. That's some cheap shit, man. Well, you could shoot through the walls. I guess not. All right. Use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hunter says you can do it. Yeah, I did this during the beta, not and then it led to me we? getting sniped in not the bad. face. Attack mode will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. You see flashing red. Oh, that's so sick. I love how smooth that feels. Look at this. See the red yellow markers? They represent kill zones. Not somewhere you want to be. Reinforcements at the truck. Wait for it. Although the guy was right there. I'm gonna just run wild real quick. I might get killed. Now during the uh, multiplayer beta, I didn't do any videos for it because I like waiting for like the full game usually. I think the Star Wars Battlefront thing was a little bit different. Uh, this one though, like I don't know what it is, but I had trouble getting any kind of good games until I used the Man of War uh, auto rifle or assault rifle. It was so good. It hits like a truck too. So what's your guys' uh, I guess opinion of this game so far? Like does it stack up? One of us sees something, we all see it. Even through cover. Check your ammo. Grab more if you need it. There's so many enemies. I think so far it stacks up nicely. The uh Keep moving up. I'm I'm actually probably more excited for the uh, zombie story thing than I am anything else in this game so far, which I don't know if I can wait till this series is over before I start that. I just want to try it out. Like that shows where you got hit on the uh, bottom left-hand corner whenever you do get shot. Nice. Something you'll come to learn about me, if you've watched me play any other shooters like this, I'm a compulsive reloader. I ne almost never let my clip run all the way out. The device is like so well hidden, I, I have to get down there. Here we go. Oh, I was going to swing down and start hitting this guy. Nice. DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these, these fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Back in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. 
That's so badass. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take it out and that door should open. Zoom in with this. I actually heard that Beast Mode was one of the bad guys in this game. I don't know if he's the bad guy or if like that's just how they get it set up. Marshawn Lynch. It's a two burst. Okay, I was wondering why. Like, I didn't know if it's like overheating or what. There she is. Blow that generator so we can get inside. Please tell me I got it. Oh man, are you kidding? I was like right next to it. I thought. I guess it just did too much damage to the drone. It's only got one speed as well. That's one of the things I noticed. Nice. I'm afraid the EMP blast from the generator has fried your drone. Shouldn't Come matter, on, right? Let's go. Grab fresh ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. Oh, that's so nice sick. Back on them and tear them up. Oh, it's a full 360. That was that's actually good. Some games they don't <laughs> they don't give you that opportunity. Use your environment. Shoot down those bats, dumbasses. Thought their turrets would protect them. Your cyber abilities don't come for free. It takes a little time to recharge. Keep an eye on your HUD. Waiting for it to recharge. Should have it right there. Yep. Nova, bitch. I don't see anything else. Nice. I've kind of noticed you don't have to, uh, you don't have to take control of everything. I think it's just like a suggested strategy if you don't want to get killed. I can imagine for like veteran mode, yeah, you'll definitely want to do that. We're kind of just running and gunning. Probably should be able to beat this game pretty quick. There's only 11 missions total and we've already done one of them. So, we got this and nine more missions left to go before it's over. I kind of wonder why they couldn't, uh, can I not destroy that? Almost makes more sense to hijack it, I guess, and then just self-detonate it. Oh, shit. Hey, it's okay. Hey, just take a second. Deep breath in. Tell me what happened. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shit. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. The DNI can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics. Little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? 
Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Got it. They had a man on the inside at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. Took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. We haven't freaked out when you saw those robots. So what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. Tipped off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the Academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning, appreciating. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, New Blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real, 